Okay, so this is going to be um, the second episode of my series on how to make an all-client menu. So um, we're just going to go from where we left off, but before we can actually draw the menu, we have to include our HUD class. So new HUD, HUD equals new HUD. So now we can use the class throughout our form. Um, another thing we're going to want to do is uh, uint array shader. So this is going to be our menu shader, and we'll have that. And then I'll just do an example text one equals new uint array with 17 members. Okay, so this is our actual menu. Oops. There you go. Um, this is our actual menu items and I'll be getting into how to make those okay so first we're going to do public void draw menu and we're going to want to have an int client so we can pass this and use this we can pass this through our method and use it throughout our method okay so first of all to spawn a HUD element we're going to need to do our name name of the element so we have shader one so shader and client equals HUD dot and we're going to do create element okay and again we're just going to have client there so there we go. Um, next, we're going to want to have to define our material. So we can go. Hold on one second. Okay, um, I forgot something. So we're going to have to do a new array. So you and array material are equals new you and array with 17 members. Um, this is going to be our material, so it can either be, I believe, black or white. So um, we can do material client. Um, basically, the client is we'll have it when it loops 18 times. Um, we'll have the client pass through the number that the loop is on, so it can be all clients. Um, so this will be you do hud dot get material index and we're going to make this black so you can choose from black or white and yeah um, next you go set oh, hud dot set icon and so you do the hud name which is shader and then the uint shader which is material and then the int width, so um, we're going to want ours to be 150 in width, and int height, we're going to do 600. Okay, float x, we're going to do 0, and float y, we're going to do 400. Okay, so now align, so this aligns it with one of the corners. Sort, um, set that to 0. So our, since we're using black, our G and B are already set to zero, so we can do that. But A is like how see through it is, so I'm gonna make this 200, so it's not completely back. And there we go. So now that we have this, um, I don't, I don't wait. Oh, um, forgot to do this. So make sure these say client, um, because they have to be U and it's not U and arrays. Okay. So now. This is kind of cumbersome, um, having to write all this to spawn every single element. So there's a much easier way, which I'll show you in one sec. Okay, so I wrote two methods, which will make this a lot easier. Um, so here they are. It basically lets you do it in one line. And it does the same thing that this does, but you can do it in one line. I'll show you. So if we go set icon, and then we do client, so this is client comma u and lm so this will be our shader and material oops um find this is client 
also. Material, oh shoot. Um, material is client as well. Um, so string material we can do black. Ints height. Um, we do this is 600. Width 200. X float is zero. Y float is 400. Line zero, sort zero, R zero, B zero, D zero. Okay, and this is 200. Um, so this is an easier way of doing it. So this will make our shader background for our menu. Now for setting the text. So set text. Pretty much the same thing. So client, comma. Uh, so our text. Um, we have text one as our text. So text one and then set this to client next string so this is what we want our text to say so we can say example string or so you would put your menu option here um, so now we're going to do string for setting text so this is going to be our I believe our second element so our text one is the name of the element, but so we have to do string array um, text. No, I can do item one equals new string array with 17 members. Okay, so back here, um, so this is we do item one and pass through client. Okay. Um, so our font size, I like six. You can mess around with that. Font scale, I just do one. So our float x. So if we want it to be on the shader, we do the same that we did up here. So that's zero. Um, so this is our y. Our y is 400. So we're going to want it a little lower than that. So it's not at the complete top of our shader. So I'm going to do like 350. Align zero r zero. Okay. So we can set it to colors here, but I mean I find it easier just to um, set it through here. So like this could be green, and that's done. Okay. Um, no, I did one more zero. Okay. Um, so now that that's working, we have our text working. So. I'll just write up some more text and be right back. So it's just the same method that we used before. So I wrote some options in here. They're just um, example string, no clip, unlock all, and uh, example option. Um, if you notice, I put them each at I put the y axis of each of these at um, 50 lower than the next than the previous one. Um, this just allows them to be stacked on top of each other. And also 50 um, is a good number because you can, it's a good solid number if you just pick random ones that it's hard to get your scroll bar, ma scroll bar matching up, but it's really up to you on what you choose. Okay, so now to actually have it activate when we click the knife button, um, we can go draw menu and pass through I as our client. So now it'll say that if... Um, when it loops, if client i, which is what what's the current loop, like what number it is when it's looping, knives, then it will open the menu for him or that that client. All right. So closing menu, um, there's a few options for this. Um, you can do you can either move the text off the screen, which is probably the easiest, or you can. Um, there's an offset which you can just point at um, the actual like you in and then it gets rid of it but I'm just gonna do moving so I wrote up I have some code for that and I will show you that in one second okay um, before I move on I just noticed something um, in here I have these are all set to text one which is wrong so I went up and added um, all new text things. They're pretty much the same thing, but they have a different number. And um, you have to use a different variable for each text you set or each shader you set. So I also added new string arrays and un arrays. Okay. 
So I'm just gonna change these really quick. Um, it if you like have them all in the same thing, it won't. It'll it'll only show one. Like it'll show the one it's currently on. So now that we have that, I'll show you how to delete text. So um, this is a method I made called lm move. So it moves the element, and basically what it does is it goes and it will use the it'll go in here and it will take the um, x and y offsets to this part and it will use those and move the element so it'll move it to wherever and then that will allow us to delete our text so I also made another class called delete lm which is just oops okay here you go it will delete our current element which is pretty useful and yeah moves it it moves it to 1500 1500 which is off the screen so it'll pretty much just look like it disappears but it's still in the game so that's good for one but this is to clear the entire text off so i just did this method and used all of just did it with all the text so it'll delete all the text if we call that so what we want to do is if we press this button which will close the menu um, we can go delete text Oops, what, is this, what is this called? Oh, del text and client i again because it's looping and i is the integer that it loops so we can have that and then we also have to do delete alum and then I comma and I think it's called yeah shader and this will be I as well so if we do that it will delete all the text and also one more thing is we have to make menu open I equal to false okay so that's the end of this tutorial um, in the next one, I'll be showing you guys how to actually add selecting options and scroll bar. So, hope you guys enjoyed.